Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you and the first question is the life history of Halimeda is and you have to choose one of these answers zygotic meiosis, sporic meiosis, gametic meiosis, all of the above or none of the above. Take a look at this picture and here shown different algae and one of them is Halimeda as you see here and all of them are green algae starting from most primitive unicellular to more advanced. Sometimes even knowing what kind of algae it is for example green, red or brown helps to understand what kind of life history it is for example in red algae only one life history sporic meiosis but in green algae all three variants happens before I will show you the answer I want you to take a look at this picture which shows morphology of this alga. Again here on the picture we start with the most primitive green alga unicellular and here is the lineage where we can find Helimida which is siphonous, multinucleate and acellular. As in other members of the order Brepsidales, individual organisms are made up of single multinucleate cells and whole meadows may consist of single individual alga connected by fine threads running through the substrate. This alga also one of those algae that has the whole body classified to prevent from eating by herbivores. And now on this picture you can see life history of this alga. Here you see diploid organism. This is how it looks like under the microscope. Still it's just single cell. But chloroplast and multiple nuclei and mitochondria can freely move in the cytosol from one part of the alga to another part. Through the process of meiosis gametes would be made. Gametes of two sizes. So we call this anisogamy and uh, the large one we call plus, the small one we call minus. So when they would find each other they would join and form diploid zygote. So these gametes are haploid and through the process of mitosis juvenile would be formed and then would grow into this adult form. So as you see this is gametic meiosis. Life cycle is gametic meiosis but also what is interesting to know that during this gamete formation the whole body all the nutrients would be consumed and when uh, sometimes it can take just few hours when gametes would be released the plant is going to die because all the nuclei all the mitochondria and chloroplast would go into the gametes as you see gametes are green so they can photosynthesize they have chloroplast all the resources of the zalus would be harvested so plant fate would be just to die in order to produce this gamete so we call this holocarpic reproduction meaning that the plant would die through the process of gamete formation and life history is going to be gametic meiosis so as you see life history of the halimida is going to be variant c gametic meiosis and second question, one feature that red algae possess but green algae lack is siphonous cells. Both green algae and red algae has siphonous cells. Not all of them of course but some of the genuses. So two or more flagella per swimming cell. Green algae has flagella but red algae doesn't have flagella at all. But our question is one feature that red algae possess. So two more flagella per swimming cell. Uh, red algae do not possess flagella but green algae possess. But this is not going to be our choice. Variant C phycobillions. Take a look at this picture. On the left this is photosynthetic pigments which we can find in the green algae. Chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, and here is the accessory pigments and here is the photosynthetic pigments which we can find in red algae 
and in red algae we can find chlorophyll A but not chlorophyll B and phycobilins. So this is going to be our choice because we cannot find phycobilins in green algae. But red algae possess these photosynthetic pigments. So our choice is going to be answer C. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.